This is a winter weather alert. You are watching 13 on your side. Hey there, West Michigan meteorologist Michael Barron's here with you. Thanks for watching 13 plus. We are tracking continued impactful winter weather as we head into this week, not just from more snowfall, but now from a frigid Arctic air that is rushing into the region. In fact, it's going to be the coldest air of the season that we're seeing at least for now. It's been a day of a lot of snow out there and before the temperatures took a nosedive tonight, many were out enjoying some of that fresh snowfall. Lots of uh, pets out there being interested by the deep snow. Ashley got a picture here in Rockford. You can see just how deep things are there for the little furry friend, a Diet Coke there for scale on the side. Another furry friend out enjoying the snow in Edmore. That photo from Sonia got this picture here from Jamie dog out in the deep snow. Barely can see it heading out there and then uh, that snow wasn't all fun and games. It did knock down some trees. This was over in Spring Lake. Thanks to Mike for sending in this photo, but Jessica was making a good day of things there. Piper out there in in the snow for a photo shoot. If you're out tonight, though, make sure you are dressing warm. If you want to send us any photos, you can always find me on social media. Meteorologist Michael Barron's on Facebook and at Mike Barron's WX on the X Twitter, Instagram and threads. Your temperatures today hit a high 20 Grand Rapids, 24 Muskegon, just 10 in Kalamazoo. That high in Grand Rapids was right after midnight this morning as the sun came up. All we can make it back to was 13 degrees. That's three away from what we told you at 16. Keeps our streak going here now at 13 days in a row. Temperatures keep going down tonight. That's why 13 weather ball is lit up in blue as cooler temperatures are in view and that weather ball blinking bright with more snow in sight. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by La Fontaine Ford Grand Rapids. And those temperatures tonight are really no laughing matter. We've got lots of cold air spilling into the region. Negative one at 10 o'clock in Grand Rapids, negative six Kalamazoo and Battle Creek, negative four South Haven, Muskegon being saved by the proximity to Lake Michigan, keeping you a uh, really well balmy 13 degrees compared to where things are across the rest of the region tonight. The danger though is the wind chill factor as winds come in gusting up to 20 to 30 miles per hour. Wind chills have gone severely negative across the region. In fact, we're seeing wind chill values down to negative 21 as of 10 o'clock in Grand Rapids, negative 26 in Battle Creek and negative 25 in Kalamazoo. These wind chills so extreme that we have issued wind chill warnings for Kalamazoo in Calhoun County. That's the first one issued by our weather service office since February of 2019. Not an everyday event here, so be extremely careful if you go out where layers cover all exposed skin. Frostbite can happen in as little as 30 minutes. Wind chill advisory for Van Buren and Barry County and the counties in purple winter weather advisories for the lake effect snow, but also expecting to remain with sub zero wind chills tonight and over the next few days. The forecast the next 48 hours keeps wind chill values sub zero most of the time. Highs only reaching the low, well, not even really teens, 11 and 12 degrees tomorrow with wind chill values that may not come back above zero through the next 48. It is going to be a very cold start to the week here and one that brings us continued threats for at least some lake effect snowfall. You can see the bands out there west of 131 as of Sunday evening. This is where the heaviest snow will stay mostly along US 31. Bands of snow expected to continue throughout a good chunk of this week as winds push across those warm lake waters over Lake Michigan. The hour by hour forecast here shows the continued chance for lake effect through tonight and into Monday morning. Good news is as we head through the day Monday, chances for lake effect should dwindle. We'll never quite get rid of it, but we're not expecting anything widespread as we head throughout the day on Monday. Chances will pick back up as we head toward Tuesday and Wednesday of this week. In terms of snowfall totals, we're just light, lightly adding about an inch or two every 12 hours or so. You can see here by Monday afternoon, we've picked up a few more inches on the lake shore. We continue to add to that as we head toward Tuesday and Wednesday. In fact, by the time we get to the midweek, we could have picked up another six inches or more in spots on the lake shore. But the good news is this comes over a spread out period of time, so it should be more easily manageable for those road crews across the region. What will not help things, though, is frigid air. We are only looking at highs in the teens tomorrow. That means salt not really going to be effective on the roadways and the winds will keep blowing and drifting snow a concern. We'll stay near 10 up in our northern counties. High expected around 12 in Grand Rapids tomorrow. Eight in Kalamazoo. 13 on your side. 10 day outlook. 
Temperatures stay in the teens this week with single digit overnight lows. Many places will likely drop below zero more than once this week. We've already seen it here tonight across West Michigan. Our snow chances start to wrap up by next weekend as warmer air finally moves in. We'll climb above freezing by early next week, possibly with some rain chances even moving back into the forecast. And of course, the snow has meant roads around West Michigan have been really in bad shape, getting hammered all day by wintry condition. But some improvements had been made by Sunday night. The snow itself that's falling on Sunday is a lot finer and softer than what we saw with that first round of snow. But conditions combined with high winds means we are seeing drifts cover some of those roads. Crews have been out working around the clock in order to get things clear. When we went out to Kent County Road Commission on Sunday, the garage was pretty much empty as the plow trucks were all out doing work on local roadways. They told us that they had been able to get through all of the state routes and the main county roads were getting in better shape. But for some of those rural roads, that was not the case and the blowing snow and cold was not making things any better. They said it is likely that they uh, may see uh, roads covered back up by the morning that have been plowed over once already, so even though things may have improved for a bit, that could get back to worse conditions. Tomorrow is a holiday, of course, and there's going to be a lot of people that may be out on the roads. Uh, we asked the Road Commission how exactly they were planning uh, to cover this and what people can do to stay safe. You're going to drive at half speed, so it's going to double your time for sure. If you are at home, neighborhood streets, please put your cars in the driveway. If we have to work around cars, I don't care if it's the city or the county, you're going to get a terrible plowing job because we have to go around those. We're going to have a great big windrow and you're going to make your neighbors mad. So help us by getting your cars off the road. Help your neighbors by getting the cars off the road. That's probably the number one thing tomorrow when we get into neighborhood streets. They're also urging people to make sure they give plenty of room to the plow trucks. They are going to have to back up and turn around a lot as they work to clear the roads, um, and they definitely need to be able to have some extra space. They also tell us plow drivers are going to continue to be pulling 12 hour shifts until we're done with the snow. Earlier today, we also spoke with the Muskegon Road Commission about how they're handling this first real blast of the winter season. We were told that the snow and Arctic temperatures have made things difficult when it comes to clearing roads, but crews are working around the clock. Uh, the big thing with today is uh, very limited uh, material usage with the blowing snow and the cold conditions. Uh, you're just going to make it worse, so a lot of scraping, uh, trying to get the wind drifts out. May have some truck drivers swap out with some motor graders to open up some of the really bad roads that get wind drifted through the field. So uh, a lot of monitoring the roads, uh, making different game plans, but um, something we're used to, so it's just a different day. And already we're seeing some school districts making the decision to cancel classes. The Greenville Public Schools and Hart Public Schools, as well as Bangor Public Schools, will be closed on Monday. You can find a full list on our homepage, 13onyourside.com, or in the 13 on Your Side mobile app. And speaking of that app, whether it's watching for school closings or tracking the latest snowfall, you can find it uh, in the 13 on your side app. It's in the App Store and Google Play. Live radar and traffic conditions for your neighborhood right in your pocket. It's free to download. And finally tonight, check this out. We'd like to have permission to brag a little bit about one of our co-workers. Friday night, our weekend morning show producer, Natalie Holmstrom, knocked the socks off at the Muskegon Lumberjack Scam. And a lot of us here had no idea she was packing those kinds of pipes. Natalie sang the national anthem before Friday's game. Her talent doesn't surprise us as she usually knocks the socks off of us when it comes to producing the show. But if you know her in person, she's quite soft spoken in the newsroom, but she had a lot of power behind that voice. Very impressive. 
And speaking of, uh, well, getting out and doing anything this week, Lumberjacks games or heading out the door for just school or work, you're going to need to keep an eye on the forecast and we'll keep you covered here at 13 on your side. Make sure you're dressing warmly and staying ahead of those latest rounds of snowfall. For now, though, thanks for watching 13 Plus. I'm meteorologist Michael Behrens.